My name is Phoebe Rideout. I was just 12 years old in 1853 when I arrived here with my family from our home in Missouri. Our ranch is still there, right under Collins Lake. A young man from Maine who was running a store near Camptonville would stop over at the ranch on his way to Marysville to sell the gold traded for his supplies. His name was Norman Dunning Rideout. The likes of Charles Crocker, Mark Hopkins, Leland Stanford, and my husband established railroads, river ferries, banks, ranches, mines, and built the foundation of our great state. When Norman departed this world in 1907, I decided to donate our home at 5th and E Street to establish Marysville's first hospital in memory of both my husband and my elder son. It meant that residents in and around Marysville no longer had to travel to Sacramento for various procedures. By 1919, we'd outgrown the mansion, so I funded the construction of a new building, purpose-built as a hospital on land at 4th and H. That original three-story, 70-bed building has been replaced, renovated, and built over several times since. Phoebe was really something. She made an amazing difference to her community, and the name Rideout has become deeply meaningful to our heritage and our story. Over the course of the 20th century, Adventist Health and Rideout has grown into a modern healthcare organization, offering a variety of medical services, including the only full-service emergency department in our two counties. And as was a condition of Phoebe's donation, we have kept the promise to serve all members of our community, regardless of their ability to pay. Today, we have been transformed again. We have made an unprecedented investment in equipment, technology, and clinical services to create a patient-centered environment of care that supports our mission to live God's love by inspiring health, wholeness, and hope. But there's more. Together we are acting as one to improve the health experience of our communities. This means not only healing, but helping people to live well. In many California communities, homelessness is a real challenge. With individuals and families sleeping in streets, in cars, or in makeshift camps along the river bottoms. The recent campfire in Butte County has exacerbated the situation creating a shortage of affordable housing throughout the region. In response to this, we have launched a mission to integrate healthcare into the community through a nursing program aimed directly at the homeless population. Now, twice a week, an RN from our emergency department and a patient care coordinator head to the river bottoms and the homeless coordinated entry locations to take vital signs, identify key medical issues, educate patients, and connect them to the medical care, benefits, resources, housing, food, and transportation that they need. Our emergency department treats more than 70,000 patients a year. One patient walks through our door every seven and a half minutes. Across the nation, emergency rooms have been heavily impacted by mental health patients. Here at Adventist Health and Rideout, we've seen a 70% increase in the number of patients in psychiatric crisis. Now, because of an award-winning collaboration with Sutter Yuba Behavioral Health Services, we've shaved hours off the time these patients spend in the emergency department. Mental health crisis workers are embedded in the hospital 24 hours a day, and through telemedicine, patients are connected with psychiatrists who can diagnose conditions quickly and begin treatment. Often these patients are released safely back into the community without the need for further hospitalization. One in every 10 Californians lack the financial resources for consistent access to healthy food. So they turn to unhealthy foods that are convenient, affordable, and readily available. Poor eating behaviors can result in hospitalization due to diabetes, heart disease, hypertension, and stroke. In 2017, we initiated a food insecurity screening process for all patients, and when necessary at discharge, we provide the patients with a three-day supply of healthy foods 
from the Yuba Sutter Food Bank. Our partnership with the local food bank is a two-way street. Many of our staff volunteer at the warehouse once a month, and last year alone our associates generously donated more than 2,000 pounds of non-perishable food to the food bank. All of this has been designed to serve our community in new innovative ways to improve its health and well-being. I'm fourth generation Yuba Sutter girl. I was born and raised here and so was my husband Rory and our four sons. I've worked for the organization for about 20 years now and I truly love working in community relations and I especially like working with the volunteers of the hospital and volunteers throughout the whole community. I am so proud of our legacy, the hospital's legacy, the giving and the investments that we've made to better serve our patients. But I think most of all, I'm proud of our employees, ones that work in every department, 24 hours a day, 365 days a year. We have such an amazing staff. They're resilient, they're dedicated, and they care. I feel privileged to work here. When I come to work each day, I'm reminded by our mission, living God's love, inspiring health, wholeness, and hope. The Tarkey family has been part of this community, in my case, for five generations. We started in the 1850s and we've been farming here for a long time. This community is very important to us and one of the reasons I've served on the foundation board and on the right out governing board is because I believe healthcare is so important to the community that I have lived in all my life. The affiliation that we're doing with Adventist Health has been so important because not only are they giving us the financial resources to grow to what we're capable of being, but they're giving us the intellectual capital that we need to serve the community the way it should be served. My mother, Elaine Tarkey, served on the auxiliary for over 37 years, compiling over 11,000 hours of service. She believed healthcare was so important, and so do I. Over the next few years, Adventist Health will continue to make significant investments into this community to improve technology, care, and the quality of care provided by Adventist Health and Rideout. Our mission to live God's love by inspiring health, wholeness, and hope takes us beyond just the provision of excellent health care services to better understand how in a connected way we impact the health and well-being of the communities we serve. It is my great privilege to serve as president of Adventist Health and Rideout as we continue this journey together.